right? This is your spruce tip crash course. This isn't going to be a comprehensive overview. I'm just going to try to share with you a few of my favorite things to do with spruce tips, how I harvest them, and a couple tips and tricks here. So I'm usually harvesting blue spruce or white spruce, but you want tips that look like that. You're going to remove that little brown paper covering. These are something you can harvest a whole lot of uh, pretty easily as long as you have a couple spruce trees nearby. As far as tips, just don't take from the top of very small trees because you can stunt their growth. Uh, that's called the apical meristem. The biggest thing is you're going to want to taste each species because each species of spruce is going to taste differently. Some are going to be really bitter, some are astringent, some might have a really nice citrusy note. You're not going to know until you try and figure out ones that you like. Older tips are okay for like pureed dishes and I'm going to go over uh, a couple ideas with you at the end. These are a little bit in between. These would be okay pureed into desserts using cream. But generally I want my tips looking like this, nice and compact. As far as harvesting, you want about early May, or where I am in Minnesota, it's usually around then. Might be faster if you're in the south. And a blicky is going to make harvesting easier, so you can use both hands. Some people might use a milk carton attached to a belt. Uh, I've used a coffee cup stuck in my pants. Whatever you can do to use both hands, but it's really not that bad if you don't have anything. Uh, as far as preservation, you can freeze spruce tips. They freeze like a dream. Just chuck them in the freezer. I do like to vacuum seal them, and you'll see they'll just kind of look like that. Those are a little bit older, so I'll probably use those pureed in something. Uh, cooking rules. There's not a ton here. If you're going to eat them raw, which can be very good, don't eat too many of them at a time because they contain a lot of vitamin C. And you want to use a light hand when you're using them like that. Mostly, I use these pureed in desserts. And I've never had a problem with consumption having them when they're pureed with cream, which is usually how I do it. Now, spruce tip syrup is one of the best things to do with these. And this is just, it is a fantastic condiment. You take spruce tips and sugar in equal proportions and you mix them. Put them outside or at room temperature and you're going to see a lot of water start to form. And after a couple weeks, it'll look like that. I like to let it go for about a month or so. And eventually you boil it, strain out the tips, and you get this delicious spruce nectar that's good on all kinds of stuff. You can also use different tree products to make syrups like that. Uh, pine cones, wintergreen, cedar cones. With desserts, generally I puree these with cream. So ice cream is a real crowd favorite on my website. Lots of people like to do that every year. It's an easy way to use spruce tips if you have an ice cream maker. But panna cotta, something similar, but doesn't involve an ice cream maker is good too. A posset is kind of like a, a rustic custard that's really good with them. Uh, a frozen terrine or a semifredo that tastes like spruce. Finally, spruce key lime pie is excellent. For a savory dish, I might mix these with green vegetables. They really like green vegetables like asparagus, fiddleheads, uh, herbs like mint and chives. There's a couple radishes in there. That's one of my favorite salads I used to serve at my restaurants. And for mature needles, what you can do, you can make tea, you can make flour by dehydrating the, the mature needles and grinding them in a spice grinder, which can make really cool cake. It'll be green. And you can make infusions like what I'm going to explain to you right here. So you can puree them into a brine and you could do something like put chicken into it. Leave that chicken for a day or two and you're going to have spruce brined chicken. Another thing that I actually have a video on on my YouTube channel is making ham flavored with spruce needles. That's going to take about a week. And you can find more stuff like this in my book a lot of these things aren't on my website and more fun stuff like this on my website foragerchef.com thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the crash course one last thing you're going to want to make sure to identify you because those are poisonous I don't think they look like spruce tips apparently some people have eaten them but yeah you is poisonous don't eat those and Special thanks to HobbyFarms.com for letting me borrow that image there.